Hi, and welcome back to our learning of uh, Mishnah Shabbat. Um, just one short Mishnah this week as we are uh, finishing a chapter. So we're going to finish chapter 6, and then next week we'll begin with chapter 7. We're still talking about things that you may or may not go out with in from between domains or into the public domain. Um, okay, so 10. Yotz'im b'veitzach ha'chargol, uv'shen shu'al, uv'masmer min ha'tzaluv, mishum refua divrei Rabbi Meir. So we may go out with a locust egg or with a fox tooth or with a nail from a gallows for the purpose of healing. So all of these kind of strange things uh, that were believed in the ancient world to have some kind of medical healing purpose uh, that were used for treating something. And therefore, in this uh, circumstance, they are allowed to be carried out. Um, moving on. V'chachamim omrim, af bechol asur, mishum darche ha'emori. But the sages say, even on weekdays, so not, not even on Shabbat when there's an issue of carrying, these things are forbidden because of the uh, way of the Emirates. So these people that were in the, the land of Israel um, before the, uh, prior to the conquest by, by uh, Israel in the ancient world, um, that it would be like following their ways. So there's a principle, a halachic principle of chukotehem lo telechu, uve chukotehem lo telechu, that you can, should not go in their ways, meaning... Uh, certain kind of superstitions or certain practices of other peoples not to follow them. So the question is, is this a superstition or is it a legitimate medical treatment? Because if it's a legitimate medical treatment, we would take it on as something, even if we learn from other people, we would accept it. Uh, so that is really the fundamental debate. So if, it, if you're applying that principle of uvechukotehem lo telechu, that means that it's not really a medical treatment, it's just a superstition, and therefore don't do the superstitions of other peoples. But if it's a medical treatment, and it's then also allowed to be carried in the, uh, uh, between domains or within the public uh, domain, then it's fine. Uh, so it seems like we rule that it, in this case, these things are medical treatments for the purpose of healing, um, and therefore uh, would be permissible to carry. Okay, so we'll begin chapter 7 next week. That was just uh, one quick one. We'll just, we're just finishing chapter 6, and then next week, beginning chapter 7. Everyone have a great week. All the best. Bye.